Okay, it's springtime, bringing down some furniture from the uh, attic, from the garage attic. And I want to show you some things we did in the elevator, but more importantly, I want to show you that the emergency brake works. We're going to do some crash testing with the uh, brake. I think you'll like it. So the first thing I want to show you really quickly is that you might remember that we had, you know, bungee cords on here in order to uh, make the system work, the emergency brake work. That was just temporary. What we wanted to do was make sure it would work and then we got these springs from the spring store online, springstore.com, I think it's called. And again, we took out the bungee, put the spring, it's pulling down on the ring, as we talked about in the other video. If you haven't um, seen how we built this emergency brake, go ahead and check out the video. And then I put these springs in here. These are the limiters to keep the, the bars from going past horizontal. Um, and the springs will push it up out of the way so it's out of the way when it's, going, uh, when it's coming down. Same thing over here. Okay. Okay, so I think I showed you this before, but as a test, we got 300 pounds of sand on here. The cable is completely loose. The jamming bars are engaged. The limiters have got them stopped right here, so they can't rotate uh, past horizontal. Um, and it's being suspended by the brake. Uh, so that's how it's working. This is pulling down on the rods. The rods engage. Carriage won't come down. So the next thing we want to do is we actually want to um, imitate an emergency crash and see if the brake is going to hold it up. All right, my son-in-law, Scott. Right. So he's going to pile the sand on, 300 pounds of sand, 50 pounds at a time. We're kind of thinking that the, uh, the rope is going to break before we get all 300 pounds on. And then we're going to find out sort of organically whether the, whether the brake is going to work or not. Um, the emergency brake I'm talking about. Um, by the way, and why don't you go in the comments right now and say, put a number from 50 to 300. Uh, how much weight you think it's going to take before the rope breaks? Or do you think the rope will hold it, the whole 300? And maybe even comment whether the, or you think the brake's going to hold or not. Um, so he's going to put in the sand. I'm going to uh, take the video. Here we go. <laughs> 50, 100, that rope's gonna, uh, that rope's breaking already. Oh my God, it's never gonna be. Oh my God, the truck just moved. <laughs> this is not gonna work. You know what? It's gonna stretch that thing all the way to the bottom, I think. Not certainly low. Do one more. I think it's just gonna stretch all the way to the bottom now. Oh no, it's kind of... <laughs> Break, will you? Okay, here, take take my camera and film it. I'm going to cut it. It's still rolling. Shouldn't take much. Oh, look at that. Wow, that was kind of cool. Um, so you saw you saw it live. The uh, by the way, if you if you guessed two hundred pounds, then you kind of won. We had to cut the rope early because it was stretching the rope. It was going to get to the bottom before you know the uh, before we could cut it. So anyway, we stopped it. We cut it, and you can see right here the brake kicked in. The rods came down, jammed into the sides. Brake kicked in and stopped it in real life in real emergency brake mode. Okay. Um, and just, we took the, uh, we just now took off the, um, the fall arresters. They weren't doing anything, but just to show you that they, you know, cause they only come, they only, uh, come into play if they, if, you know, uh, come down fast. So we took them off just to show that it's only being held up by the brake right now. Okay. So we're going to go for round two on this. Um, I wasn't satisfied with the 200 pounds, so I'm going to try to get the 300 pounds. So we replaced that rope with a stronger strap at least we hope this is stronger that'll it won't stretch as far and it'll hold the 300 pounds so we can cut it as opposed to you know at 300 pounds instead of 200 but you can see that we have the you know the main hoist rope is disconnected and the um the emergency brake is not engaged right now it's in its sort of relax, I guess relaxed position it's not sprung so we'll start loading up 300 pounds 50 pounds at a time and see if we can get it done this time. I 
100. Okay, so I'm going to take this Milwaukee razor knife and cut the rope and hope for the best. So you can see it's fully engaged. It stopped immediately. Perfectly. Very happy with the performance. That 300 pounds put a little bit of a gouge in the wood. Otherwise, looking really good. There's the 300 pounds. And there you have it. The Otis inspired elevator break is a success. I'm down here in sunny Indiana, as my dad likes to say, down at Purdue. I was editing the video and I noticed he did not film an outro. So I wanted to hop on here and say, thank you everybody for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what else you want us to do. Um, we're very proud of, of our latest creation, the elevator brake. I think we're the only ones on YouTube who have an attic elevator with a brake. So we're very excited about that. And thank you again. And remember, if you decide to build one yourself, be safe, overbuild for strength, and like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Thank you, everybody.